Oh, you don't know which one. The bad guy does certain deeds. Is so, there anything on the floor, like any rocks or anything? There, there's, there's, uh, uh, actually, yeah, there's skull. crates and stuff like that. It, it's pretty, pretty fucking cleaned out here. There's like chairs and tables and stuff like that. But uh, it's, it's a fairly big place. It looks like this might be a bad guy base. But, uh, yeah, it's two different tunnels. And keep in mind, your low-light shit, everything's in green, and it's not good for finding little shit, especially not like tripwires and stuff, which is why they use a different product to help them find tripwires that the PCs have not yet discovered. I just want something I can toss down, like one of the the tunnels or uh, whatever you want to call them. There's some skulls right there. It's a big pile of them. I take a skull, them. and I roll it down tunnel number one to see, like, if anything happens or pounces out at him. Give me, a, give me an extreme luck roll. Nah. Nothing happens. I Good. go down number, tunnel number two. <laughs> cool. Uh, give me a, a spot hidden roll at either negative 60 or a quarter your choice. Nope. So, you know, you're kind of wishing now you did the other phase as you hit another fucking trap. The bad guy is delighted because he he pretty much is doing the jumping out as soon as the trap gets done going off and mm -hmm. uh, re-engaging you in combat. As yet more Claymore mines go through you. They have a fucking uh, uh, concession that sells them Claymore mines at the cheap. Yana, you're not there for the trap going off. You are not riddled with all kinds of fucking metal BBs. You're a happy for Yeah. So let's see. Was this, a, was this a lull in the combat, or enough time goes lull. by, or what? Lull. So, so yeah, you, you the probably armor lasts like a six few points minutes. Of damage, six points of damage or so. Is oh, the armor wait. still working or no? Um, give me a luck roll of negative thirty. If yes, then yes. 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 Let me re-roll some damage then as we go down. Actually, let's see. It'd be D10 and D8 then, instead of 2D10. Here we go. Hmm. Right. 14. Okay. How many hit points do you have? Because the guy's jumping out as soon as it goes off so he can shoot you and stuff. I have three hit points currently. God damn, he says, why won't you die? At last, your clothing gets shredded as you make a note to yourself to immediately recast the spell every time. So uh, we re-enter combat. Yana, from further down the tunnel, you hear the doc uh, probably whipping somebody's ass is my guess. Mm. Uh, I need to shoot the person I'm with so he dies finally. Excellent. Let's do that this roll. Heroes are first. Wit is approved. If you'd like to say something witty before you shoot him in the spine, Yana... Whoa. You can get a card for that. No witty, but a oh, okay. oh, wow. If he's not dead now, he ain't happy. Okay. Done. At last, you think happily. Yes. Chris, it's all you. You're currently bleeding. Um, I fast draw my sword, and I chop into him. He's at seven points damage total now. Do you have a strength bonus with your sword or something? Because he is not a Highlander guy. Oh, so it's only for Highlanders. I just thought yes. it was plus one damage. Okay, I yep. will reroll that. My apologies. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he, Aha! he says, I can survive damage. anything. He says, who brings a sword to a gunfight? Ha, 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 ha. Next round. Oh, wait. He gets to shoot you. Hold on. Let me shoot you first. And then... Uh, God damn, he sucks. All right, so this round, heroes are first, nothing is approved. Yana, what are you doing? I run the way Chris disappeared. It shows all these fucking booby traps scattered between you guys. Uh, Yana, you can't see shit. There's no light source. They're back there. Hmm. Okay. You know you're going to hit something or fall. Yeah. Or... I will go for the light source. This round, you pick up a light source. Aha, you say, now I have a lantern, says Coleman. Chris, what'd you do? I chopped into him for two damage. 
Excellent. You are very, very slowly killing him. He attempts to shoot you with a gun. Ooh, he looks excited. Wait, not that dice, sorry. It has been decreed you will take five points of damage. I thought it was a D4 because I have armor oh, on the hand. No, okay, you got one. One point of damage. Ciao. Yeah. Next round. Heroes are first posing dramatically is approved. Yana, what do you do? Run after oh, this. Yana. I know. 14 damage total. He falls down. I don't run. You hear Yana bumping into shit and going, oh, skulls, and you know, hitting a table, and she backs into like one of those electric pianos and goes, dun, 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 and then shuts off again. And you're like, what the fuck? So, uh, yeah. Apparently, now that you're able to see and stuff, it appears that you're inside of like a catacombs type thing. And Chris has moved over into like a hallway that has like some new traps, and then he set them off, and the tunnel continues on. And phase got it. So, what I recast phase. Oh, I'll bet you do. Uh, what's casting time like a minute? Yeah. Nice. It's it's a well spent minute. You're thinking as your clothing is now finally chewed up, and Yana looks happier. So, uh, out of the I catacombs. Hold on, the dog's going nuts. I gotta see what's going on. Go for it. Random four guys for you to kill, Yano. Yep. You want to skin any of them? Oh, yeah. Could I? Can I just... Uh, Give me a skinning roll. Be a nice surprise for Chris when he gets back. <laughs> you can try four attempts at skinning, by the way. There are Ooh. four dead dudes. Oh, I didn't make it. Four. What is my skinning at? I didn't think I made any of this. No. Damn. Yeah. Try it. Try again. Yeah. No. I didn't make it any time. Cool. I will tell you a little bit about what's down here, and then you can not No, I'll tell I'll tell <laughs> you, and then I'll tell Chris again. That's better, yeah. Kind of what the fuck I was thinking. What did you think? From the catacombs thing, it goes into another one. And it's got like a cool building. Actually, I'll unveil the cool building. Okay. It's been carved into the rock. Um, yeah. Ah, there it is. There you go. Uh -huh. It's you can tell it's not a real building. Somebody carved it to make it look like a building with pillars and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of neat. And yeah. then there's a doorway, and then there's more catacombs. That's mm -hmm. in one direction. In the other direction, there's a cave in that kind of stops you from continuing on. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you go through the traps area that Chris was finally blowing up in the bastard and into uh, what, give me a, do you have architecture? No, but I can try. Make that learning roll. You need to check in learning every adventure to keep you healthy and sane. Uh, yeah, I didn't make it. It appears to be a basement of some kind of big building. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of shit in here in like crates and stuff like that. And there's a lot of scales to made to measure like really light amounts of stuff. Mm. And there's also a lot of machines for counting money and things like that. There's okay. no money. Yeah. Weird. So the building, the, it's just like a big statue. Statue. It's not real building. Right. 
Well, you can go you can go through the doorway into more catacombs. It's like okay. somebody somebody carved uh, the, like a passage and then yeah, goes yeah, yeah, into yeah. more catacombs and stuff. It's very cool to look at, but not really too useful to you. Yeah, and the scales and stuff like that that's just lying there on the ground or where it where is it? In the bay, in, that's down a different tunnel that oh. Chris has gone down to kill somebody, and oh, right. uh, it's in a big basement thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the lair of the evil people. And in the the place with the scales and stuff, there are like stairs that go up, and there's like an old fashioned elevator and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So there are ways out. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't seem that there is anybody there, though. If there if there was, they would have heard a claymore going off yeah. and come and kill the shit out of Chris, or tried to anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there? There is nothing else than the scales, though, like books or like something that would give me an information. In one of the scales is a little bit of some uh, white stuff, uh, some sort of powder. It looks like maybe cooking flour or something like that. Drag dealers. It's either that or chefs. <laughs> Very they, secretive chefs. That that's right. They're that. down here with their fucking uh, high-priced secretive flour yeah. <laughs> and preparing a fucking cake to end all cakes. Yeah, evil chefs. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Mm -hmm. No mystery at all. Exactly. Okay, so uh, here's here's uh, what's what's around you and stuff, Chris. Uh, from the catacombs thing, uh, and Yana gets to play tour guide. If you go down one of the tunnels, not the one you were fighting the dude in, different tunnel, goes into uh, catacombs, and on the pictures you can see like a. a kind of a facade that was carved into rock with like pillars and shit like that. And if you go through the doorway into that, then it's more catacombs. That's the end of that. Or you can go out the other way and then there's the way that you initially came in. You ignore that one. Then there's the cave-in way. And then the last tunnel out of here is the one that you went to, got blown up in. And then if you go a little further, then it goes into, give me an architecture role, some sort of big building. It's got stairs up. It's got an old-fashioned elevator. It's got a lot of uh, different crates and stuff. It's got scales made for very small amounts of weight, a little bit of what looks like cooking flour. Yana's convinced it's evil chefs. And uh, uh, you see if this is cocaine or heroin? Sure. Got it by... Shit, maybe negative 60, hold on. Yeah, negative 60 right on the dot. No problem. You tell her that, yes, yes, it is uh, chefs and stuff, and shows him gumming it. <laughs> He's, like, rubbing it on his gums. He's like, that's right. <laughs> I love flour. No, it's Coke. Um, and, uh, yeah, so apparently there it goes. Did you make your architecture roll? No. Goes into some sort of big oldish building. Okay. You've seen a building like this before somewhere, but you're not sure where. Okay. And also, uh, another way is there's a flooded area that you could get through, but it's flooded. And this is cave number four, right? Uh, let me look, because... Let's see. From If the vampires was zero, one, two, three, yes or ex-vampires. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of shit going on. Yeah. Is there yeah. like money here or just drugs? Uh, there's neither. Uh, the, the Like it was used well. and now it isn't anymore? Uh, you're thinking it's used regularly, but not right now. Okay. So... Probably going up the rest of the way into this building would like we'd be like coming right up their ass and to where mm -hmm. wherever they are selling drugs is. Yeah. is Maybe, but a claymore, it. a claymore mine did just go off just a little bit away from their basement. 
So they probably either left, locked up, or are waiting for us to open the door and destroy our faces. So this is probably not a good place to continue going at the moment. So your choices are either going into the flooded area, which I recommend scuba suits for, or holding your breath. (laughs) The weird layer. Or back to the catacombs. We could continue down the catacombs for a while, which is still an offshoot of this cave, right? Well, you kind of finished up with the catacombs because uh, pretty much your only places you haven't checked out are either the flooded thing or the cave-in thing. Because, mm-hmm. like, from the catacomb things, it either leads to more catacombs, back to the hand claw dug tunnels, the cave-in, or the... Uh, a uh, place with the special flower. Well, back at the hand carved claw. You head back there. Isn't there mm-hmm. two? Isn't there two offshoots we haven't gone to? Correct. Okay. Uh, so you've got either. Uh, it would be what? What tone do you call the one that you got blown up a few times? All the traps and shit. What tunnel? What that tunnel? Was cave number the four. Which four? Number four. Okay. Yeah. Then number five or number six, which would you like to head down? Let's continue down number five, I guess. No problem. Uh, give me tracking at negative 30. No. No. Yana stops, make sure some tracks are rubbed out. Goes, yeah, mm. and continues on. No problem. I uh, you. At at some point, you pass a lot of, like, uh, storm drains. Like, if you wanted to play It, the clown, the evil clown, Red Balloon Yana, lures kids into the sewers. This is the fucking place to do that. Mm -hmm. And then you get to either uh, an offshoot passage or you continue on. So basically, it comes down to left or left or straight ahead, or right or straight ahead. We'll go to the offshoot first. Right. You guys head in there, and you find uh, it looks like s- some guy's room, and he's sitting in there in a fucking pile of rags. He smells bad, mm-hmm. and he's got a sharpened bone that he's pointing in your direction, like defensively, like he might stab you with it if you get too close to him. And he's just sitting there, and he's got another little room that goes off his room, but it's a much smaller tunnel. Call it like a closet. Hello? Are you okay? Go away. I look around like everything that's in this. Like, is there anything else in here? Like Nothing you want. There's but he's been botulism living here for a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're not sure who this crazy looking person is, but apparently he's not used to speaking. Mm. Can I roll psychology to know more about him? Sure. I'll give you I a nice one word definition. What's that, Chris? I support her psychology. Oh. I'm helping. Go, mm. Yana. I made it. This is a hermit. This is a fucked up little man hermit, but it's a hermit. Mm. They're not known for being social. Yeah. You're thinking if you either don't leave now or go into his room, you may as well kill him because he's going to try to kill you. Mm. It doesn't look like he has any fighting skills, but he's going to try. We should leave. I agree. We can go down the like, and you said there's a small cave like leading on the other side here. Well, it's really small, and you'd have to go into his room to get to it. Yeah. Are you going into his room to go do it? No, we can continue on. So back the way you came. Yeah, and then continuing down cave number five. Okay. Eventually, you come to a great that is across the the, uh, sewer thing. It's like a big cover thing. It's made to keep people from being able to do what you're doing, like going through it and stuff. Mm. It's got, it's fastened with a big fucking padlock. Oh, like I take out my lock picks and pick the lock. 
Give me a roll at a plus 30. Got it. It's already unlocked. It's the kind that's made to look locked, but a good hard yank unlocks it. It's a trick lock, basically. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Uh, and then you go into a new section called Modern Built Sewers. From here, there are, uh, not including the one that you came in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different ways to go. Holy fuck. Wow. I had fucking 20 hours to work on this. Fuck you people. We'll stay. We'll, we'll, we'll come back on this one. We'll go deal with everything else first. God damn it. I just want you to wander around until you get lost and commit suicide and woe. No. So we go down to cave six and see what's going on. Oh, all right. And uh, Chris goes for the methodical approach. Okay, eventually you come to a, it, it's a fucking sharp ass drop off. Like uh, you could, there is, there is a place since this is the rough caves and stuff to tie up your rope. So if you want to climb down at a plus 20 using rope, as long as you don't mind leaving it tied up here or whatever, you can do that. Or you can say, I don't need rope to go down. I can just climb down. Or you can launch yourself into the darkness and hope for the best. I will climb down. Later, bro. Oh, are you using rope or no? No. No? All right, fuck the rope, he says. And he just climbs down like a freak. What do you do, Yana? You've got that fucking 20 meters of rope still. On, you've been like playing mountain woman with this shit. It's not I, fun to carry around. I also climbed down. Yeah, fuck the rope. Okay, both of you guys give me climb rolls. I already made it. Yeah, not Chris. It. Oh, wow. This is not that hard. You, After going a long way down, you guys eventually notice that you're now in old mine shafts. From here, there's one that's flooded, one that's a low ceiling area. No contortions roll required, but fighting is a bitch. And another one that you could go through. So basically three things off, one of which is flooded. But you're in old mine shafts. Welcome to the party. You see, you see that look on Chris's face, Yana? That's what you get when you try to map shit. Yeah, I gave yeah. up. Yeah. Now, Chris is going to... One of the things that... Uh, oh, by the way, Chris, if you get into the parts of the sewers that your character knows, because I know which parts you know, I will fucking tell you, and that will be a freebie for your ass, because I know exactly which parts. And yes, they're in here, motherfucker. I plan for your ass. Yeah. Whoa, can you feel it? All right, so there's three offshoots inside of this, and they look like old mine shafts at this point now. You yes, one is flooded, uh, one has a low ceiling, and then another one just goes that way as like a standard tunnel. Let's go to the low one. No problem. You go into the low ceiling one, it goes to another area I have called old mine shafts. Um, now there's, you can either can, or sorry, from low ceiling, you can either continue to more old mine shafts or you've got a place you can climb up. Hold on. I have a suspicion that Chris, Chris is going to learn these fucking sewers like a champ eventually. Yeah. We go up first. No problem. Both of you guys give me climb rolls as you climb like freaks. Yep. Yes. Good. You guys uh, climb up. Fortunately, there are no options yet. You come to a long tunnel. Partway through the tunnel, it becomes a stone hopscotch board and then continues normally afterward. It. You know what I mean by the hopscotch thing, Yana? No. Um, hold on a minute. It's the kids' game where you draw like one square, one square, oh. two squares, one square, one square, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, you guys come to that. Okay. And look at it, and it looks like somebody took the time to carve it into the floor. You don't know if it does anything, or just numbers, or what? There's no numbers. It's just the squares. Is there any rocks on the ground here? Uh, sure. I take a rock, I toss it 
you know, over into one of the squares. It does not land with sufficient weight to do anything. Oh. And I play hopscotch to get myself over, and you don't put your foot into that square. You actually know how to play hopscotch. Yeah. Cool. Take a card for that and give me a maneuver of plus 20. Kids can play hopscotch. Can you? Yana, he seems to be playing hopscotch. What do you do? Just wait what will happen to him. Good idea. Okay. He apparently has managed to survive his ordeal. What do you do, Yana? I tried to. No problem. You toss a rock. You try to avoid that square. Give me a maneuver plus 20 roll to play hopscotch, Yana. Yes. Okay. You guys have both managed to survive the dreaded hopscotch. And then you go into a place called Maze. Now, here's how Maze works. One of you can tr try to support the other if the, the person being supported wishes to be supported. And then you have a choice between navigation or direction sense rolling. And then that will give you uh, one of the uh, things. Now, Chris, you don't need to roll here. You are in familiar fucking territory right now as you know exactly what's here. So I'm just going to tell you because here's what's up. The way you came in, then there's a flooded thing. Mm -hmm. Then there's shallow water covers the tunnel floor. That's the way you usually come in. Then there's shallow water covers the tunnel floor again. And then is the lair of your master. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's go. I want to go there and see what's there now. Good question. Uh, yep, yeah, no problem. Uh, so you two go out there. Yana. There is metal bugs everywhere. They get more and more as you continue on. They're yeah. the same kind of metal bugs that covers Doc Fulton recently, actually, when he was in his fucking armor. Those are all back in the bag. But you see, the ones from the bag are like leaving and new ones are coming in. You are refreshed, Chris. Your shit is back. Yay. And yeah. eventually, yeah, um, Indigo, it's all the bugs are like fucking purplish, Yana. They're the same color as uh, Doc Fulton's eyes. Mm -hmm. I think you're putting together two and yeah. two, coming up with let's not mess this up. <laughs> it's really creepy as shit to walk around because you're just walking normally, and just before you put down your foot, that the bugs move off the floor enough that your foot doesn't step on mm -hmm. any of them. But it's always like, ah, ah, ah. Mm. They have no respect. And okay, so the layer of indigo AI is what I call this leads to van storage, which could leave, lead, lead to climb up if you don't take your fucking van. It could be a brutal ass climb, which leads to exit uh, through private tube pointed up toward, for flying cars only. So just so you know, we've now gone through a gate that we didn't know about. Oh. Or time space is odd here okay viewers seem to be twisted into a different weird quantum mm. reality okay hmm. because oh. this is this is uh cyber we're now in oh. cyber san angeles right because mm. this doesn't exist in there. Yeah. red carpet san angeles Actually, says a deep, booming voice, it now seems to exist independently. Ooh. So Hi. down here is independent of the other two, but they're still connected to them, even if they're different times or places? I'm not sure yet. Something has changed, says the voice. Hmm. I believe that I am always here, However, what is always out there, I do not know. But sometimes the van disappears and sometimes it reappears. Right now it is not here. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't remember deconstructing it to use it. I go up to see where the van is. Motherfucker, somebody stole my goddamn van. I look outside from here, like... You can't really see the outside without like doing a lot of amazingly dangerous climbing up the slick uh, um, 
uh, concrete sides that you'd normally just your van up. They're definitely not made for climbing, nor do they have any handles. But just looking straight up, you don't see any flying cars above you. Can the can the bug minions make a handhold for me to climb up like a ladder to see out the top? Hmm, that's clever. They will attempt to do so. They try their buggishness. Now, they are fucking uh, in a recharge cycle, you're informed, after the first three ladders uh, collapse under their own weight. Okay. They'll get back to you later. All right. Fucking hmm. fumble buggishness. <laughs> Indigo doesn't want to talk to you right now. It feels that, uh, yes, it must go and study this new problem. Okay. Then we will let you it do seems your thing irritated so all right we go back to where we were at and i guess we go back to maze we go back past hopscotch playing hopscotch on the way the other way just in case you're back to needing to climb down we climb down and then we go climb rolls that'll put you back to low ceiling if you don't fall off and die yana well isn't there another there's up and then there was another place to keep going in the old mine shafts Oh, yeah, you've got plenty of shit left to go check out. I'm just got to work you through. Now you're back to low ceiling. Now you can either go to the first mine shafts that you originally encountered, or you can go back to the second mine shafts. We'll continue down low ceiling because that's can, that's still further okay. out. It's not back to the original three. Yep, yep. Of this area. You go to second mine shafts, and you have a choice between uh, one, one tunnel or a contortions tunnel or another tunnel that's partially collapsed, or another contortions tunnel. God damn it. These are dangerous places. So. You're going to both be real good at contortions. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Something to look forward to. Yeah, in the future. It shows all the PCs in my campaign with fucking 90 plus contortions talking to new people. Look, we told you you needed contortions and you didn't fucking buy it. We got a big barrel of grease we bring for people like you. Guess what? Can we go to the collapsed one and make it through or no? The collapsed one? I know you you need to do some mining or something to make that clear enough to go through. But you said there's a regular tunnel here, too. So there's a tunnel, contortions, collapsed. Oh, the partially... Oh, sorry. There's a tunnel, contortions, partially collapsed, fully collapsed. All right, we go to the partially collapsed. All right. It's a partially collapsed tunnel where there is a crumbling path on what appears to be a side of a fucking huge mountain with a nasty drop-off. If you don't have vertigo, this is the place to fucking catch it. Okay. Pretty much, I'd need a maneuver roll as you're both clinging to the fucking mountain, edging along in a very movie-style thing. But suddenly, Yana screams and falls into the... Oh, critical? Mm-hmm. She's yeah. like, go faster, go faster, stab it. Chris is like fucking sweating. She's like, faster, come on. Yeah, I'm bored. I'm bored now. Look at my knife. You like this? He's like, oh, damn it. Eventually, you get past that. You go into more mining shafts, and then eventually you see daylight ahead. You get to what appears to be a sinkhole that has opened to the sky, and it looks as though it's a long, hard climb up, but there's plenty of shit to grab onto and shit. Well, we'll climb up. Sure, go for it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're out in the desert. The California desert, where they filmed uh, Kirk fighting the alien thing. A lot of rocks and shit. I open up my GPS and I put a location dot here. Yeah. You're really hoping that your phone doesn't get destroyed. If it does, you can still try memory rolls. This phone's totally going to get destroyed. Next time somebody has a gun, you guys shoot the phone every round. So, uh, what do you guys do now? 
So how long is it, how long have we been looking? Like uh, about a day, maybe more. <laughs> okay, so we should probably leave and then come back. At it's point. up to you. You brought MREs. I heard that. Unless yeah, they I got blown three. up. Huh? I have three MREs. Yeah. So I have. Do you have any food? No. Nope. Yeah, you guys are <laughs> fucking hungry as shit. I'm not sure if she brought anything, but other than a skinning knife, actually, Chris. And the gad. Why don't we leave? Re supply and then come back okay let's do it right okay. uh yana give me a luck roll uh -oh. the catch a lift because you're female and somebody will stop for you and then chris comes running out, out of his hidden location oh. the side of the road yeah the guy giving the lift not as thrilled about taking the two of you but you know he'll do it now because otherwise he'll just be a pervert and he knows it so yeah you, know, you get a lift back into town he doesn't realize that she's playing with a fucking uh, skinning knife and all that red shit on her is, you know, blood as opposed to red rock stuff. And he's like, so you guys are out hiking and stuff? Did you get lost? Yes, yes exactly. And uh, I play with the knife. Uh -huh. I see. What happened to your clothes? Mm. No. Mike. <laughs> yeah, he says. It, it just shows, like, the comedic uh, rips with, like, Chris has got like a, a fucking belly shirt on now because the rest has been blown up. Yana's clothes look worse. He's like, God damn. Right. He drives you back into town. Eventually, you're able to get the cabs. Once you get the cabs, you're able to get back to your home. Once you get back to your home, you are able to take baths. And that's the next day. You guys had a good night's sleep, good meal, lots of alcohol. Yay. Much better. Chris goes into the dojo. What do you do, Yana? Um, huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh, Dad. Hey, you teach me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. That would scare me. <laughs> I made well. I made my phase. Can I try to teach it? Yes. Good luck. We're all counting on you. He goes, mm, you do this stuff. And she goes. Maybe one day. I mean, I ha I do have my, my teaching is not. Oh, yeah, it is base. All right. Well, you know, mm. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. In the future. Yana, do you want to do any magic shit? I, I don't have that many magic shit. And I have checked in my magic shit already. I have okay. to go check on the guys doing stuff in the basement. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Why don't you uh, get your gear together we're going to need now that you know what <laughs> kind of stuff we're going to need down there? Do you think I remember stuff? Okay. Oh, Christ. I'll be back. <laughs> so, Yana, what kind of gear do you want? I want to, uh, to go Google so, so I can see things. Sure. Goggles, night vision goggles. Great. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, there was some other thing I wanted that yep, I didn't yep. remember. <laughs> I bet there was. I bet there was. Uh, what, what did I want? To do? Yeah, some, maybe some like food or something. You have food and night vision goggles. Is there anything else you would like? Well, of course, I have my knife and my gun. Of course. Um, what else do we need? Like, he has lock, lock picks and stuff like that. So I he don't does. Think. He does. I don't really need that. Um, what else do I need? Uh. I think this is the 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 most important. I have the rope again. I'm gonna go get some more drink and hit the restroom while you think about what you need. <laughs> so, what do you think of the sewers so far, Yana? They are cool. Lots of things. Unfortunately, I gave up map, mapping, trying to map them because they are too complicated. But I think I think it's good to have somebody who maps them. Yes, this is this is why you have minions. Yes. Chris is now your minion. Yes, exactly. That's my plan all along. It is a successful plan. He is delighted to be mapping shit. Yeah. He will later become frustrated when uh, his maps do not quite 
match to what he thought that they were and shit. Yeah. And also, I need you to travel to the USA, find out where he lives, break mm -hmm. into his house, change his maps, sneak <laughs> back out, and return to uh, Czech Republic. I will do that tomorrow. Nice. This will this will amuse us greatly. Yes. <laughs> we will laugh at his uh, misdrawn maps and stuff. Yeah. It will be fun. You can put you can make a little picture of yourself at the top of it, and he will never know how it got there. Yeah. Excellent. Are you, uh, Chris? You're muted apparently. Am I? Ah, mm -hmm. now you're not. Are Are you overseeing the uh, the fixing of the basement? Well, the landlady was supposed to be here early this afternoon to make sure that they did everything they were supposed to do, and uh, she's not here, of course. And this is not a surprise. No, it's irritating, but you know. Question, how are you two doing on time? I'm fine, but checking on you guys. I'm fine. I can continue. Rockin', both of you guys take a card for escaping the sewers and dowing to continue. So, there you are. Uh, okay, Chris, as far as gear, She's got three MREs and uh, some see in the dark goggles. And the rope. But she still got a rope that she was wearing all of yesterday. Okay. Um, do you have extra flashlight? Oh, flashlight. Like, yeah, that's a good idea, of course. Light sticks. Yeah. I will just say that she has everything that I have on my list. So then we have double what I have, and I just make her carry it. Great. <laughs> That's the easy <laughs> thing. You don't even tell her what she's carrying. You just throw shit in her backpack and go, there you go. Although I think I'm going to triple our MREs. Okay. You prepare for a long, long time. Yeah. What phase of the moon is it anyway? D10 to see how big the moon is. How big are you? Seven. It's fucking big. Oh, all right. And close to full? Yes. Excellent. So if we get lost down there and we can't get out, um, I will just make a circle and we'll gate out. Hmm. Take a card for uh, thinking along different lines. However, it does specify in the woods, so you're not sure if it'll work. I could always draw a bunch of trees. On the... We could go to where all the roots are hanging down. Because maybe those are uh, tree roots. But then again, we'd know how to get out if we were there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I draw a bunch of trees on the wall and hope for the best. <laughs> Concentrate right. really hard. Push more magic into it. Yeah, by the way, you are you are still in the red carpet area. You're not in cyber things. So something has definitely happened that is weird. You're not sure if today, if Indigo will still be there or not. Mm -hmm. We could always just go right back there and check and see. To... If you had a flying car, that would be super easy. Hmm. That sucks. If you had a grappling hook and, and some climbing professional climbing gear, you could go into the big tube and get lowered in that way. Or you could go back, lower yourselves into the uh, the outdoor sinkhole thing and go for that. Whatever. We could just come in the same way we went. I mean, I know sure. how to get there now. Which, which way would you like to go in? Well, if I was going to go back to Indigo, I would go... Ah, Cape well, number actually, five. You, you, know, you know of a different, different, slightly more direct way to get to Indigo. I can run you on your old route to get to Indigo if you'd like. Okay. No problem. You go over to uh, various entrances throughout hidden places of downtown is what I call it. Okay. You go in there. You go through a grate. You get ready to pick it. And, oh, it's another fake thing. You're not sure what the fuck is up with that. Uh, then you go into modern built sewers. Okay. Then you go through shallow water covering the tunnel floor, which is a which bit is, scary. That's number one outside the maze, right? Next is maze. 
And then you go back to Lair of Indigo, who is not there today. Weird. Yes. Uh, it, it, but it's like, uh, it's the rooms and stuff. And Yana, you can tell at one point in time, this is an elaborate underground. Wait, I don't need to tell you about the elaborate underground secret base. You got into it. This was it. And that was taken over by bugs. But now the bugs are gone, and so is all the shit that was in here. All the shit that you guys carted down in here, because it, it used to be connected by a suicide booth, all that shit is gone. Oh. Like, completely gone. Like, stripped. Like, the screws holding it into the walls, gone. All that metal, gone. The holes, still there. But then van storage, climb up exit through a uh, private tube pointed up for flying cars only, Chris. So that's, yeah, that's your normal go in, go out place. You've not been to any other places other than that normally. Okay. Mm. So who the fuck is Indigo? It's an AI. It's supposed to be good mm. for you. Makes your eyes like this. You learn yeah. to cool, do cool stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys are currently in Lair of Indigo AI. Unless you choose to leave this place and go to another place. There are many other places you can go. But basically, Chris, the maze thing, normally the mazes work different than me just saying maze, here's what's around it. Normally, until you learn it, I just kick you into a random place. Okay. Because it's a horrible pain in the ass. Because it makes the rest of this mapping look fucking easy. So we could go back to where the Claude, ca uh, the Claude Caves go to cave number two, which looked like some kind of lair, and check that out. I'm sure it'd be dangerous as fuck, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. see what's there. Okay. Right. I know you know how to get there. I'll just cut to... Uh, you are hanging out at the climbing down area where you can see the, uh, you're talking about like where all the skeletons and shit were and the bodies and stuff, Chris, is that what you're talking about? Like no, past that, the that's, that's cave number one. That's the cave with the scuba. Does it, that go, that leads to water going out. Okay. Wait, let's start you at the hand clawed dug tunnels. Which, which one are you wanting to do? The roots hanging down? Yeah. Number two. Uh, slimy Floors? Yeah, I think so. Slimy Floors goes to Bugs and Rats, and you can either climb up or you can climb down. We'll if climb you climb down. down, what? We'll climb down. That takes you to the, uh, uh, like, if you if you climb down, that'll be to the uh, skeleton pit and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. We haven't really looked around in here, though. No. No, you have not. I want to look around in here now. Okay. Uh, give me a climbing down roll to go into the pit of death. Correct. Dun, 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 dun. What did Yana get? Made it. Dun, 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 dun. So, right, you guys are down there, and it looks as though over that way is another pit that you can, or sorry, you are in the pit. Over there is a new place to climb up. Okay, so we're down. This isn't the scuba cave. That's good. That's number one, right? I don't know what the numbers are. I just have my names for them. Okay, so it, it goes in order. Like one would have been the first cave on the far left, left to right, clockwise. Um, okay, well, going from slimy floors, are you, wait, you're talking about from... Basically, right now you're in the the skeleton pit. Okay, which is the lair. That's what I'm calling it. Cave yes. Two lair. Yes. Okay, so you can either uh, climb up to somewhere else, or basically uh, or go back the way you came. Or the third option is a tunnel that goes over there. It looks well traveled by something that shits a lot and you see a fucking creepy doll head like you know in the in the muck looking at you uh, let's go down the tunnel 
the shit covered tunnel. Mm -hmm. You're thinking that uh, you should burn these shoes, hopefully not with your feet in them. But you head over there. Uh, are you guys both using the I can see in the dark shit? Mm -hmm. Not yeah. not flashlights yet? No. Nope. Okay. Give me listen rolls as you're going through this tunnel and you can sneaking is really hard because you can hear the squelching of shit. I don't listen. Oh, I do. You hear it sounds like a little kid going, la, 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 Fuck. la, la Fucking la, pretty. La, la, la. Oh. Sneaking. Everybody give me sneaky, sneaky rolls to see if you get to see shit nah. first or if shit gets to see you first. I'm sneaky. Yes, but unless both of you are, eh, well. Mm. So... Chris kicks some shit at it and goes, who's your daddy? So, no problem. No problem. You guys go in there, and it appears, and sitting on the ground, like the walls are covered in these fucking creepy plastic dolls. Some are upside down, some are right side up, some are on their sides. There's doll heads scattered throughout the fucking shit. Um, th there's a lot of half-eaten corpses as though they get hauled in from the place that you guys walked from and into here, and it's something eats them. And that thing that eats them is this huge fucking giant baby-shaped shit demon with glowing red eyes. That's playing with one of the dolls and going in a little kid's voice, going, nah, 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 nah. And it looks at you and goes, Would you like to play with me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, Ah, and Doc's like, Come on. <laughs> and you guys enter dramatic combat as it stands up. So, yes, this is called a shit demon. Yes. And a big fucking shit demon, too. Killing babies once again. Yay! Just what you've always wanted. Yeah. And let me double check shit demon stats. Oh, both of you guys give me sanity rolls, please. <laughs> Good luck. We're all counting on you. Nope. I made it. <laughs> if you make it, it's one point. If you fail, it's D8. Under demon, I assume? Correct. That sounds good to me. Personality unpleasant is what I'd written. Hmm. By the way, I got the soul survivor card. Hooray! All your cards go away, Chris. Hooray. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. So all my you you have your cards and I don't have mine now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is the sole survivor, the solitary survivor. Oh, shit. It is the way to go when you're getting right under dramatic combat. <laughs> yeah, and all of your cards stripped <laughs> from you immediately. That means that you get to send her in to fight this thing on her own while you sit there and do strange preferred actions in the background, hoping to get new better cards. <laughs> I act like a monkey is around. She's like, hey, me, it's killing the shit out of me. And good news, everybody's within reach of everybody else. So heroes are first and may not attack. Villains are second and may not attack. It stands up and begins walking toward you going, na, 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 na. and you can hear the squelching as it walks toward you. Hero's turn. And uh, nothing is for, like, wait, we can't. Sewing is approved. And you may not attack. Sewing is approved. <laughs> Don't move my card. 